Good morning, my friends. Today is Saturday, January 13. It's Saturday of the first week in Ordinary Time. It's the optional memorial of St. Hilary. I want to invite you uh, to our Healing the Whole Person retreat with Sister Miriam James and Dr. Bob Schutz, February 8th, 9th, and 10th. February 7th, we have a priest and seminarian retreat day. And uh, you don't want to miss this. Uh, it, our capacity is, uh, we're nearing capacity. So if you really want to come, I encourage you to get your tickets as soon as possible. Who is St. Hilary? I remember when I heard this name earlier, I, I, I thought it was a woman because most time today you hear Hilary is a woman, but this St. Hilary was a, a man. He was the Bishop of Portier in 353 AD at the height of the Arian heresy. So fourth century. And there was a lot of pressure uh, by the Arians you know, against those who were staying uh, faithful to the teaching of the church. He was exiled um, and then he came back and Pope uh, Benedict XVI said of Hillary, so obviously many years later, he said, this was precisely his gift to combine strength in the faith and docility in interpersonal relations because he came back and encouraged the other bishops to, to stay strong, stay strong holding to the faith. In 1851, he was declared a doctor of the church for his great writings on the Psalms and Matthew's gospel. In the readings today, the first reading, we continue in the first book of Samuel. Today we have uh, the story of Samuel anointing Saul as the first king of Israel. Yesterday we heard how the, the people wanted a king and God said, I'm your king, but if that's what you want. Um, and we know that Saul was not the best of kings. David followed him and then there's a whole series of uh, disasters of kings. But I want to focus on the gospel today, uh, Mark chapter 2. So it says, as Jesus passed by, he saw Levi, uh, who's also known as Matthew, son of Alphaeus, sitting at the customs post. So we know that Matthew was a tax collector. There's a great scene uh, in The Chosen. There's also one of my favorite paintings by Caravaggio, which has Samuel or uh, Matthew gathered around the table, kind of counting money, and Jesus is pointing at him. He's calling him, and, and Matthew's like, you're calling me, you know, a tax collector? We know that because he was Jewish and he was collecting taxes for the Romans, he was despised. And Jesus said, follow me, and it simply says, and he got up and followed him. How quickly do we say yes to the Lord, and how often do we delay? How often do we kind of drag our feet? The Lord desires our yes. And so Matthew invites Jesus over, house full of tax collectors and sinners. Of course, the scribes and the Pharisees can't believe that Jesus, this, this rabbi, um, you know, this holy man, as he claimed to be in their eyes, how he could be eating with this, these tax collectors and sinners. And Jesus reveals to us his mission. He says, those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. Maybe think of early on, uh, Pope Francis talked about the church as a field hospital. Um, many times people have the idea that our churches are for perfect people. And many of us have sat in the pews and we'll say to ourselves, how can she be here? Or how can he go out for communion? You know, we know things about them and they shouldn't be here. Who are we to judge, you know? Um, Jesus came for the sick. Now, yes, people should go to confession if they have great, grave sin, but we don't know if people have gone to confession, you know, when we pass judgment. Just like the Pharisees and scribes, you know, were passing judgment on these, these sinners and tax collectors, Jesus came to be with the sinners and tax collectors. He came to draw all of us who are imperfect, who are, who are sinful, who are weak in concupiscence, which is that tendency towards sin. And he came to strengthen us. He came to transform us. He came to make us. He says, I came to make all things new, including you and me. And so let us pray. 
Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your son, Jesus. We thank you for his call of Matthew, who was imperfect. We thank you for calling each one of us in our own sinfulness to be your followers. Transform us. We know that you don't wait for us to be perfect to call us, but you transform us. And it's only in and through you can, that we can be holy. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. Tune to your families, Blaine Camino, and God bless you.